Hello everybody, Grace Steel Plays, and we're back with more Home Wars. So, holy crap, um, I don't know if the developer saw the video or if he just made a bunch of changes because of some feedback he had gotten, but the day the video came out, there was a whole slew of changes, and I'm super happy about that. A lot of them were very good. There's a lot of balancing that happened, and there are uh, a lot of the explosive effects were enhanced. I, I gotta show you guys this. The game is completely playable now, and also... I kind of understand how the game works. Once you understand how the game works, you can have a much better time other than getting mowed over by like 6,000 mosquitoes as your as your sad green toy army men scream in agony. I cranked up the enemy's health back to 100 and the attack to 100. We're going to do home sweet home. Turn every two days. What this means is that you get two days of like prep time for every time that people can move around. I kind of like that. And you have to build correctly in the beginning as well, and that really helps. Oh, the other thing is we're gonna we are still gonna do some custom battles so that you guys can see some insane, I don't know, combinations of stuff going up against one another. I really kinda like this game for that. It's so strange. Like I can't wait. If there if one day the developer could get some feedback into the hits, that would make this game freaking perfect. Alright, back in the house. Oh, and by the way, there's five homes. I'm just choosing this one because it's kind of like the one that I have some experience with, so I kinda know what I'm doing <laughs> air quotes. Let's go ahead real quick. Okay, so the first thing I learned plastic factory plastic factory Metal factory get two plastic factories right off the ground right away That's gonna give you a big chunk of income and honestly we need it. Uh, I don't really know what else to say and the day we're gonna have a couple of XP's here too, which is really gonna help us out. Power station. And now, uh, we can't really build too much else, which is fine. I don't even think we can build another uh, plastic factory. Three plastic factories? Yes, please. That is actually something that we are legitimately going to want. Let's start spending our XP. So, you can see that we get more XP now, which is something that the developer changed, which is really, really good. Um, because before, you got like a static amount of XP per battle, and it just wasn't enough to get through all this. Especially if you're going to be spending 300 friggin' XP on a mech warrior, you'll finish the campaign by then. So let's go ahead and grab our riflemen, and let's go ahead and grab our assault troop. Uh, I'm, I'm so glad to see this guy is still the assault troop. And the other thing that we're looking for, uh, we'll go do this right now. We're going to get the supply truck. The next thing that we're going to want is this sapper, because this is the only guy that's going to allow us to get through the uh, ant hills. I tried the howitzers on the ant hills. No freaking chance. Didn't do a damn thing. So that's not good enough. Oh, the other thing that we're going to want to do real fast, let's go over here to recruitment. And real quick, I'm just going to, eh, yeah, we'll do assault troops. We're going to just create three armies real fast. Uh, and the reason why is so that they can spread out across the house and start capping points immediately. And then we have this one uh, point that we just capped right now. Let's end the day. So now that the days have ended, you can see the bugs have started to move in. We got a red flag over here. You can't tell what's over here. Fog of war. How do you like them apples? So right now... Our men can start spedding out. Let's go ahead and move here. Now you can see, right over here, it kind of says what the uh, nest level is at. And if you go over to, you guys were saying, there's a surprising amount of content to this game. You're right. It's actually pretty freaky. If you go to intelligence, you can see as the critters gain uh, experience, or whatever you want to call it, food, or there have you, they're going to be able to unlock new creatures. So right now, we're just dealing with mosquitoes and ants. But pretty soon from there, it goes into freaking, you know, the Blata Orientalis, of course. That's what we're dealing with. And also, the Gryllus Camistris. Someone said, video games are how you learn about science. And then they had uh, the same issue, I guess. And that's pretty good. I gotta tell you, yeah, I've learned a lot from video games. I've been, uh, I've been very happy with video games my whole life. It's kind of why I'm doing it now as a, uh, I don't know, I guess as a living. So let's go ahead over here. Can we get this done? Do I have enough of this yet? I do not. Can I get another plastic factory? Because quite frankly, I want more of them. I cannot do that either. That's fine. Uh, in the meantime, what we'll do then is we'll start making a real army. So let's go... Oh, real quick, before I forget to, we want more of this ammo. Uh, at least 5,000 more of that ammo, I would say. And now we can go over here, and now let's make a real army. Let's get freaking 10 of these guys... 
at least that many of those guys. I think that's 10. Yeah, it's 10. And we'll grab uh, four of these. Well, we can't do any more right now, but that's fine. We'll finish up that army soon. Go ahead and end our day. We're going to hear, there's the sad sounds of the little creatures moving around. It sounds like a rat. It doesn't actually sound like a roach or a beetle or anything like that. Kind of odd. Uh, we're going to go over here so that we can scout ahead and kind of see what's going on. Cap this room over here. Cap this room over here. Now we're good. You guys were saying a lot of people were drawing all kinds of similarities with different games. People were saying, uh, like, <laughs> what was it, like, war, uh, World of Tanks or something or all kinds of stuff. Um... Oh, Warhammer, Total War, or not Warhammer, but Total War, I should say. I do play Total War Warhammer, um, but this is, this is a little bit different than that. I guess this would be, this would harken back to the days of the historical titles. Although, I guess we are fighting against giant insects, so I guess there is some fantasy going on here. Uh, let's see, can I get one more? Yeah, let's go ahead and get one more, and then we're going to just continue rounding out our infantry with a bunch more of these guys and a bunch more of these guys, and boom. New armies created. That's going to be our first, like, realistic army. The rest of these armies will die immediately if they come in contact with any kind of opposition. But that's fine. Over here, do I have enough at this point to put down a third one of these? Because, damn it, I would like to. Uh, oh, yes we do. Fantastic! Now we're cranking out the cash, baby. Now we're cranking out the plastic. And quite honestly, the more plastic, the better. You're gonna see, these guys are gonna start flowing in pretty quick. As a matter of fact, yeah, see, they're already down here to the main hallway. So we are going to fall back with this guy. We're going to grab this in here and move him up here. So if we come up with an instance where we have to destroy their anthill, we, we can't. Uh, we can win the battle. It's weird. Like, well, you lose the battle, but we don't die. So I don't really know how to say about that. Like, they do get the extra food, but technically we win the day. So that's kind of nice. Man, next turn we're going to be able to get sappers. That's going to be really, really good. As a matter of fact, now, armies don't cost anything to have. So have as many as you want, I always say. Uh, we'll get as many of these here. There's no upkeep. So we'll get more of those right there. And then we're going to grab a couple of supply. When I say a couple, how about four? Four supply trucks. That's pretty good. All right. End the day. There we go. I just had to, like, auto-lose this. Even though we didn't have any allied units there, it made me retreat. Or it made me defend and then retreat, which was kind of weird, but whatever. All right, let's go ahead and end the day. We're going to be getting 30 more XP here in just a second. Oh, we're going to be able to get sappers. That's going to be really, really good. I'm going to put them in the secondary army. Okay, good. So right now, over here to unlocks. So let's grab the freaking sapper. We got 25 XP left. Is there anything I can do with this? I don't think that there is. Um, I'm pretty sure there is not. Um, all these vehicles and stuff are pretty expensive. Yeah, like 150. This is probably 100. Yeah, even the aircraft is 130. So everything's pretty expensive. 1.5 times damage modifier. That's pretty good. Uh, I think I would like that for sure. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and recruit a bunch of sappers while we're at it. Infantry, sapper. They cost 200. Yep. Go ahead and give me a freaking shit ton of them. And also an assault troop and a rifleman to round things out. These guys are done. End the day, uh, oh, see, this is what I was talking about. You have to defend, and then retreat, and, like, auto-lose, and then end the day. When these guys come over here, it is gonna be a bad day for beetle kind, baby. You're about to see the very first win of Grey. We're going in, baby. Here we go. We're freaking, we're taking these guys out. I've had enough of their crap, quite honestly. 55 XP, we're almost to the point where we can start unlocking some new stuff. All right, here we go, boys. 61 allied units versus 32 bugs. I have a feeling the day is going to be ours. Let's freaking do this. Destroy the enemy outpost. Yeah, see, now I'm going to be real happy that I got some sappers. Let's do this. All right, the enemy outpost is right around the corner. Let's go ahead and throw down a bunch of our resources right over here. Uh, assault troops, you guys are first. I'm glad that they're spelled correctly when I'm deploying them like so. All of the assault troops. And then all of our riflemen slightly behind them. The, in the beginning here, you don't need a ton of tactical abilities. Uh, these sappers we're going to keep in the back. And then, of course, oh my god, I forgot I had this many supply trucks. There is no reason to have this many supply trucks. <laughs> Eight supply trucks. Too many troops on the battlefield? That's totally fine. You can put down more troops, by the way, as the battle goes on. Uh, so actually, watch. Here, I'll start, do this, and let us immediately begin... <laughs> Moving our troops up in a nice row over here so they can start doing their thing. Start moving these trucks up. 
so that they can reach all of the men. You want to keep them fairly close to everyone as well. Is this a little sapper over here? Yeah, I don't want you to get singled out. Let's move you up there. Move you. See how they're freaking immediately trying to single this guy out. I saw them flying over there. You can't freaking fool me. Let's go ahead and get out of this. Click on a dude. Let's go whoop some. Holy Jesus. All right. Yeah, hi there. Looks like we're a rifle man today, boys. Look like we're a rifle man today. Oh, boy. Yep. It is ass whippy time. There is blood and ass flying all over the place here. Hold on. I do much better with a shotgun. In fact, I think I'm going to get... Ah, I just got stung by a freaking mosquito, I think. There we go. I think I'm going to get a shotgun. I, I, I always feel much, much better in the shotgun shoes. There we go. A wider arc. I know I can hit stuff with this. And man, it does some fantastic damage. What's this? Uh, taking dudes out. Now, like I said, you can't always tell, but you can see we stopped several guys over there. We stopped all those guys over there. Let's push forward. Bam! This guy right here, watch this. Watch this. Bam! Didn't know what hit him. Couple more dudes. I think that guy was already dead, technically. Oh, yeah. We're, we're gonna wipe these guys up. No problem. In fact, I'm going ahead, boys. Kind of reminds me of uh, Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator in that way. All right. So we have literally destroyed everyone on the field. If you double click on units, you can grab certain ones. Oh, by the way, these sappers can do all kinds of things. I didn't really do it. Look at this. We got the hedgehog, dragon's teeth, landmines, air mines, all kinds of crap. So let's go ahead and head up here, and we are going to uh, attempt to dynamite the hell out of this area. All right. So we're closing up now. Lay the mines down, boys. Yeah, there we go. Can you get even closer? Get, get right, get right up in their grill. Right up in their grill. I don't think that you can, yeah, you can't first person these guys. Lay down the dynamite. Now that is, oh, huh, that was weird. It did less damage. Did you notice that? That's kind of, oh, it's because I only selected one of them. There we go. Select all of them. And there it is. 10% damage each. Now we only need two more guys for this. So I don't want to waste all my dynamite. That's how you win a battle, boys. Oh, see, even old Gray can win. Now, you get much less XP from what I've seen. Before, you were getting, I think, 20. Yeah, see, now you're getting four, but we're also getting XP per turn just for surviving. So that's kind of nice. Holy crap, we get a whole friggin' slew of batteries. Look at this, 23 batteries, 31 batteries. And a little bit of refined plastic as well. I'm not really satisfied with the refined plastic. I do like the batteries, though. Holy, <laughs> look at the batteries, man. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So as you can see, we can do damn well, damn well with the, uh, with the, uh, the campaign nowadays. In fact, I can go ahead and move right up here. I'm not even, I'm not even scared. Look at this. We can move up here if we want to and try and take it from them. We're not going to do that right now. Let's go and do some custom battles. Let me get, let me know what you think, guys. Let me know. You want to see more custom battles? You want to see more campaign? I really like both. I kind of like splitting the episode between both of them, kind of showing them off. All right, so here we are on custom battle. I totally forgot to mention too, there is like all these missions. Like you don't have to just defend the allied outpost. Look at this. Escort the allied convoy, destroy the enemy convoy. Look at all this crap. Defend the supply crate until extraction. For right now, let's do the defend the outpost. You guys wanted to see anti-aircraft versus like a horde of bees and stuff. And, oh, and there's all these maps too. Like, we can do this beach one over here, and we can do the kitchen? Yeah, we haven't fought in a kitchen yet. Let's do that. Max allies on the screen. We'll crank it up to, like, 90. Um, and then we'll keep everything at 100%. So, you guys want to see anti-air, do you? All right, then. Let's freaking do... Let's do... All those anti-air guys right there. All right, let's go up against all kinds of flyers. Let's do freaking... 40 of these guys. We got Vespula Germanica. Medium sized wasp. 15 to 20 millimeters long. In the grand scheme of things, that's not that big. What do you guys like? Where did this take place at? Australia? It may. The giant horse fly. The flying insect looks like a big fly, but it's 25 millimeters long. The female specimens feed themselves with blood, and their bite is very painful. That sounds disgusting. Let's get a couple of those. We've got the Hornet. Go ahead and grab a couple of those. Uh, what else we got around here? What is this? Is this, this looks like some sort of weird beetle. Oh, the bombarder, the bombardier beetle. Not today, my man. We need flying stuff today. Oh yeah, here's the Hemapepsis or whatever. 
Makes me thirsty too. You guys were saying in the comments. Let me see over here. And then that is just a, oh really? It's not a very well-known insect since it's present almost exclusively in New Zealand. Uh, maybe we're in New Zealand. Some specimen of Weta can reach 100 millimeters in length and has some remarkable structural strength. If threatened, this insect shows an extremely aggressive behavior and it uses the length of its limbs to increase its size and impress its opponent. The jaws are the main weapon of this insect. They are able to cut and even tear human skin. Holy crap. All right. So, this is, you know what? Hold on, let's, we're going, we're going big. This is, this is ridiculous. Let's, this is supposed to be a battle. There. There we go. There's like 400 insects or something. I don't even know. You know what? A couple of you guys too. Just because why the hell not? Let's freaking do this. Alrighty. That looks pretty freaking excessive. All right, boys. Line up. Line up, boys. Let's go ahead and grab one of these. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to blast some fools. Yeah. The bomb's bursting in air. These freaking flies should have known. Whoa. We got some big suckers coming in over here. Oh, my God. They are able to take, they are able to take a beating. Reload. Reload the quad cannons for the love of God. Oh, we don't have any supply cards. I should have thought about that. There we go. Now we're shooting them down. Get them. Get them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're doing good. What else do we have over here? How about these guys? Light anti-aircraft. Yeah. Yeah. Carve them up. Carve them up. Now, we do have some missiles. Oh, where the hell did that missile go? That wasn't what I wanted. Hold on. Let's try and get, let's try and get that guy. How about, hold on, how about, man, they're dying quick. Can we get this one? There we go. Yeah, missiles away, baby. That's what I'm talking about. It sounds like a friggin' prop. It sounds like a propeller. <clears throat> Reload the 7.62 rotary cannon, damn it. They will not take our base today. Whoa, something, something's riding up on old Gray over there. What the crap's going on? Hold on, let me uh, let me get some cinematic shots here. There we go. This is what it's like, boys. This is the battle for Earth. The bodies of the insectoids falling to the ground. Death and destruction. Dismemberment everywhere. Oh, it's glorious. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and pick pick this dude over here. Oh, 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 we're almost down. We're almost down. Oh, we are down. Holy crap. Uh, let's grab one of the, let's grab one of the big guys. Hold on here. There we go. This guy right here. Quad cannon. Yeah. Yeah, lighten him up. Lighten him up. Hold on. Got some of these, these weird. Whoa, hi. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Things are getting out of hand over here. The insects are starting to swarm. They're doing that swarmy thing that insects do every once in a while. Oh, crap. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Our allied outpost is getting overrun. I'm trying, boys. I'm firing. I'm firing all the shells I can. I think we just got owned. Wow. We did. We got owned. I completely underestimated how powerful the swarm is. What's weird is it doesn't... If you don't have any units on the ground... Oh, well, technically, I guess we do. I think I have, like... Do I have one unit left? Uh, nope. Not letting me choose anything. So, I wish it just ended a game when you're out of units. But instead, this is what you get to see. The horror. So, how many did we kill? 425. There was still a lot left. Uh, we had a long ways to go. Alright, we're gonna do escort the allied convoy. This is gonna be a ground fight. So, we're gonna have freaking mech warriors for this. Uh, what else do I want? I want some more cool ground stuff. Someone said this is like a Warhammer. Uh, 40k machine. I can't remember what it's called like the Imperial Guard something or other Let's do what else do I want? Let's do a couple of battle tanks a couple of heavy. Yeah, you know what? What the hell? Let's put a war machine or two in there Let's do some of that. We didn't get to see the big gun. It's so hard to deploy. It's friggin huge And let's have a couple of things in the air. I want mostly bombers though let's do like a strategic bomber and then a long range and a regular bomber. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's do a couple of regular bombers. And then let's have a whole bunch of infantry. We can't have too many. But uh, let's do... 
Let's do snipers, sappers, machine guns. That's kind of cool. You know what? Let's do flamethrower and machine... Oh, grenade launcher? Hold on. Hold on. Let's do a couple of machine guns. There we go. And a couple of grenade launchers. And now let's go up against a pretty heavy ground force. We'll be up against a whole bunch of praying mantises. I think I went too far last time. Let's go up against some scorpion things. I think that's what the hell this is. The Death Stalker. That is probably the coolest name of any insect I've ever heard. It's named the freaking Death Stalker. That's amazing. Uh, the Weta sounded really cool, so let's go ahead and throw some of those in there. Now, that's a pretty big guy. Uh, we're going to be up against this Blondie as well. And what the hell, a couple of these? Actually, you know what? I love spiders. Well, I don't love them, but, like, I, I think that they're cool. I wouldn't want them, like, you know, hanging out with me or anything like that. So let's be up against a whole bunch of spiders. What kind of spider is this? The Brazilian wandering spider, or the banana spider, is considered the world's most poisonous spider, thanks to its mixture, thanks to a mix of neurotoxins. Okay. Well, you should kill this insect as soon as possible. Otherwise, its poison will have the best, even on our most armored vehicles. Have the best. Otherwise, its poison will have the best. Whatever. All right, that's what we're doing. It only allows you to select certain maps for this. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. We're going to do very high. And let's friggin' start her off and see what we can do this time. Hopefully the army men can take the day. Let's go ahead and deploy. Now, I don't know where our... What the hell? Are they, like, seriously right next to us? What is this? Oh, this must be the convoy. Okay, I got it. So it's a convoy. They have 750 hor... Uh, almost said horsepower. 750 hit points. And we're going to have to protect them. So... Mech warriors up the flanks here. Oh, yeah. Oh, the mechs. All oh, the mechs. And then a mech over here and a mech over here. Oh, no more troops. Okay, that's fine. Uh, flamethrower infantry. We're going to sprinkle you guys throughout because there's no doubt that these creatures are going to want to get deep in the mist of all of our crap. A couple of grenade launchers. And I imagine the grenade launchers are going to be very, very slow. Uh, I didn't think about that since we're supposed to be doing like a mobile build here. But we'll see. Well, you know, if I didn't test them, we'd never know. Couple of machine gunners, and now we have a crap. Oh, the war machine. Let's freaking do the war machine. There we go. Now we're going to get to see the war machine in action. Couple of heavy tanks. We have a couple of battle tanks. Couple over there, one over there. And now I think we also have, there it is, the big, look at this thing. How do you even place this? We'll put it there. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. We're going to have our uh, armored airship and also a bomber. Let's see, can we ready this up? Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, okay. I'll bet you have to launch it from the, uh, the tower or something like that. Because there is a control tower, usually. Uh, alright, let's give it a shot, man. Who knows how we'll do? 100%. Ready up. Start the battle. Let's freaking go. Now, it's gonna be a little bit weird, because, like, I'm gonna have to control all these guys. And they don't make controlling them super easy. Um, what the hell are we firing at already? Oh, there's a spider way the hell over there? Holy crap. Alright, well, that's fine. All right, boys, keep moving up. Everyone, oh, look at the, <laughs> look at the bomb. What are you firing at? Hold on. Can I, can I select this? I can't even select that thing. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, wait, or can I? Oh, I can select it. Oh, my God. Use the middle mouse button, by the way, to uh, change the arc of fire. Boom. The 1800 millimeter howitzer. Hold on, let me let me arc this thing way down. There. Reloading, reloading. Come on, come on. Reload, 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 reload. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go. Go. Oh, it takes forever to reload. Oh, it takes forever. Come on, baby, do it. There we go. Bam. Look at that. <laughs> oh, the insanity. I love it. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab our men. And, uh, start moving up a little bit here. You guys start moving up. You guys start moving up. Oh, crap. We need to move up big time. Move up. Move up. How come my one convoy over there is just sitting back? What the hell are you doing? Get your ass up here, convoy. Get your ass up here. Let's go ahead and be a war machine real quick. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Uh, let's use the... Let's see here. Oh, wow. I'm not even, like, controlling it. This is weird. I'm, like, I'm in it. 
but I'm not actually like able to utilize the turret. Now that may be because I'm not using the right controls or something. Hold on, let me get out of here real quick. Because if I go into one of these guys, like this, yeah, see, I can I can control this guy easy. Got a machine gun and a 150 millimeter cannon on this thing. Can I get out of here? Oh boy, we got spiders way down range. Hold on. Kind of zoom in a little bit here. Ready? And fire! Direct hit right into the body of that spider. Should have known better, baby. Fire! Yeah! That was another good hit. Okay. Uh-oh. We got some guys screaming for the medic. How about this thing? Can we use this? Oh! Oh, it's so slow. Oh, it's so slow. Okay, um, hold on. Let's try it. Can we do a, can we do a rotary cannon or anything? Huh, that's weird. No, I can't seem to utilize the uh, the energy laser or anything like that. Or at least not that I found. Like, normally you press Q and then you move your mouse around and you can use all this stuff. I'm trying the, uh, like, the WASD keys and the arrow keys and stuff like that. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Huh. Yeah, nothing I haven't, nothing I haven't seen here. Everything's pretty much the same. Um, I do like this, though. Enable, disable attack zone for bombers and artillery. Ooh, that sounds really good. As a matter of fact, you know what we haven't done yet? Let me hop out of this guy. Let's go ahead and launch all these guys. And then let's go ahead and do a bombing run over here. And let's see if they'll do it. Oh, here comes the bombers. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Freaking bomb these guys. Drop them bombs. There they go, baby. Yes. Yeah. Bomb the hell out of those guys. All right, let's do another one. Uh, new bombing run over here, please. Right. Oh, no, mission failed. Oh, I was doing, I was having so much fun controlling everyone, I, I allowed the convoy to die. That's what you get when you game with Gray. But that's fine. Let's go ahead and, uh, hold on. Let's go ahead and head down here. Check out the last brave stand of humanity. Flames engulfing this giant creature as this, this mech over here marches onward. We got to see the big gun 1800 millimeter howitzer. That's hilarious. Um, this game is, this game is surprisingly awesome. I'm actually really enjoying it. Man, you could put, you could put orders down for the bombs and stuff like that. That's freaking awesome. Maybe we should do like a giant bombing run next time. Anyway, guys, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.